The digital crown actually has electrodes on it, as does the back of the watch. And by putting your finger on that digital crown, you're actually closing the circuit on the watch. An over-the-counter FDA-cleared electrocardiogram is built into the body of the Apple Watch Series 4. You're closing your circuit to be able to measure the electrical signals and impulses that are coming from your heart. Apple says this new test, which takes about 30 seconds, can detect atrial fibrillation, or AFib, a condition where the heart beats out of rhythm. Like it says, this ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Mm -hmm. AFib often has no symptoms, but it can lead to a stroke. The ECG app is one of two new features that tracks it. The other periodically checks a user's heart rhythm and sends an alert if an irregular rhythm is detected. You know, we didn't wake up one day and say, we've made a, an iPhone and an iPad, and now let's go after health care. It, it really happened organically. Jeff Williams is Apple's chief operating officer. Why concentrate on the heart first? We have more heart rate monitors on people's wrists than anybody else in the world. We have tens of millions of heart rate monitors. We originally put the heart rate monitor on just to track your activity. We didn't put it on as a medical device. Dear Mr. Cook. But the more we started getting letters where people said it detected something serious, and in some cases helped save their lives, the more we realized we have a huge opportunity to do so. That heart rate alert just kept going off, off and off. Who else knows about my healthcare data? We care deeply about privacy, and so with our technology, all your health information, including these ECGs, are stored encrypted on your device and encrypted in the cloud should you back it up, and you alone decide who you share it with, period. It could be scary if you think of yourself as a healthy individual and all of a sudden you get a false AFib. Um, it could be on the flip side. There's also if you get AFib and you didn't know and you actually end up having something else happen like a stroke, that's even the, the potential outcome and the life-changing impact that you're going to have as a result is potentially even scarier. As an executive, did you ever say, I'm not sure we want to go here. Let's, let's go slowly. Yeah, we have gone through this very, very carefully and thoughtfully, but there will be some false positives. We think the impact on the other side far outweighs that.